Hiya, and here we are on day 117, and we're still at war, I'm afraid, in our Old Testament reading in Joshua, and um, <clears throat> he's really on a, on a roll. He's now defeating the northern kings, and um, in one sense, there's not a lot more to add to what we've said the last couple of days, but I do want to just read this. <laughs> um, um, that the northern kings, it says here, um, that they came out uh, with all their troops and a large number of horses a chariot and chariots, a huge army, as numerous as the sand on the seashore. All these kings joined forces and made camp together at the waters of Merom to fight against Israel. That sounds like it was quite uh, an army. Uh, it was quite a lot of people. But listen to this. The Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid of them, because by this time tomorrow I will hand all of them over to Israel slain. You are to hamstring their horses and burn their chariots. Uh, so Joshua and his whole army came against them suddenly at the waters of Merom and attacked them. And just one little thing I want to get there. We've said it before, but it's just obedience under pressure. The, um, the odds seemed really against them. Uh, there was a lot of the enemies, but the Lord said, I will give them into your hands. Uh, in God's version of democracy, one person plus God is always a majority. I know we've said it before, but it's always worth remembering. And, and it seemed an impossible task. But then when God spoke, Joshua got up and did what he said. And they went for it, even though they must have been frightened. Even though I suspect they might have doubted even though they might have thought is this a good idea they were obedient and the lord did as he said there may be situations in your life there may be areas in your life where you feel like the enemy is too big uh, where you feel that you're going to be defeated where you feel like you, you don't just listen to the lord and obey him and he will do it uh, we belong to him and he's as trustworthy today as he was all those years ago. See you soon.